I really like journaling, but I always end up in no time or cannot find a journal that I really like. So I was like, "Hey, let me create one." So here it is: a self-help journal created and designed by Anita. Inside the book, I provide very simple and easy to follow template. For example, in the morning, to do list; in the evening, gratitude practice. So you can use a very little time to start this healthy habit. Go ahead and check it out in our description down below, or go to our buymeacoffee dot com. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Taiwanica, episode eighty, Friday short. I will be your host and the only host today to share with this valuable information with you. My name is Anita. Today, the topic is three red. Flag that you are in a toxic love relationship. Love relationship is complicated, and a lot of people asking questions about their love relationship and how can we tell are we in a good, healthy, loving relationship, or maybe we're in a not so healthy and can be improved relationship. So just keep in mind those three red flags. But by the end of today's episode, I will be sharing some way or some method you might try to have a better communication with your loved one to, in order to improve your love relationship. All right, let's just dive on into the very first one. The very first red flag is comparison. If you look at this word, the meaning of this word is very simple. Just compare. If you find your loved one. Find your partner, compare you with other person. That is a comparison. Doesn't matter who are you comparing to, as long as it's a comparison in the relationship, that should be a sign that you should pay more attention to. So let me give you some examples. If your partner is saying things like, "I really like this celebrity's body shape. I really like how." The celebrities' bodies have six packs and really strong arms. Can you try to do more exercise or eat less to have a body shape like that? Or the partner could be saying, "Some my my friend's husband make a lot of money, and the husband always buy fancy brand to my friend." Could you try to make more money and to buy me more fancy things? Could be like this, just simple, as simple as the sentence like I just mentioned. Those are all comparison. Well, when this situation happened, that it shows indicate that your purse, your partner is not happy with who you are. So that's why they're showing the comparison. Want you to change for them. So this is a very first sign that is a red flag because it also shows that your partner is not appreciate of who you are. Then this show that this relationship is unbalanced, is not equal. In the relationship, we wanted to be heard, to be seen. So not only this comparison behavior is very hurtful. And also it shows there are deeper problem with that. It could be I'm not happy with the money that you make, or I don't. I'm not happy with your body shape. So the very first one red flag is comparison, and next one red flag number two is not willing to apologize. We all make mistakes. Everybody, everybody does. And making a mistake is not the biggest issue, because if we make mistake, then shows we are trying, right? We work hard, we try hard. Sometimes we make mistake. That's totally fine. But the crucial part is you have to admit your mistake and apologize. This is a very very important factor, especially in a love relationship. So. If you are not willing to apologize, not only you are not willing to sacrifice to make this relationship better, also it shows you are the person who is not willing to admit your mistake. If you don't admit your mistake, if you don't, if you're not willing to apologize, 
there is no way to improvement. So if you're in a relationship, like you are having this conversation with your partner says, hey, you did something and I'm not happy about that. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to apologize to me? Are we going to sit down and try to find a solution? Or are you going to find excuses to cover up or to justify your mistake? Those two are very different. Let me talk more details about those two reactions. Okay, I will give you a scenario. For example, taking other girls or checking other boys out. So this is a very common situation in between the couples. Let's say we are having a wonderful uh, outing with our boyfriend or girlfriend to the night market. And I caught my boyfriend checking other girls out. Maybe there was like a girl wearing really sexy clothes, walk by and I caught my, hu- my husband or my boyfriend check out the girl just a little bit and vice versa. If, you know, I caught my uh, girlfriend or my wife check out other guys, you know, maybe the guy wearing tank top, six packs, really big arms. When a situation happen, again, we are all human. Sometimes we are attracted to something more exciting, right? Let's just be honest. Not just for men and for girls, we are the same. Sometimes we see some guy has like, you know, big arm. We were like, oh, that's a very strong arms, right? Maybe our behavior doesn't have deeper meaning. Like we just look at the guy or look the girls, look at the girls. The problem is if I found my husband, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, or my wife, some behavior makes me feel uncomfortable. I talk to them, right? So the same scenario, like, oh, Eric, check out the girls. I don't feel happy about that. So I will be like, hey, Eric, I'm sorry, but I feel like you don't appreciate me when you check out other girls. I know you did my, didn't mean to, but that things did happen and that makes me feel hurt. And the first scenario would be the healthy one would be Eric says, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Anita. I check out other girls, but I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. And I would be more careful with my behavior in public next time. That's a person who made the mistake. Oh, I'm sorry at that. I didn't mean to do that and apologize. Say, I'm sorry. And next time I will be more careful with my behavior. That's a healthy communication. That's good because willing to apologize. And the second one would be, well, it's not a big deal. Okay. I just check out. I didn't touch them or I didn't even cheat it on you. There was no other behavior happened. That's not a big deal. I don't want you to make a big deal out of it. That is a sign, a very, very (laughs) obvious red flag when the guy or the girl like trying to make up or make excuses for their behavior, say what they did is not a big deal. That's a second big red flag. Not willing to say sorry, not willing to apologize. Red flag number three Belittle. Okay. So belittle is someone say something or this something makes you feel way less than them. Like way worse, way smaller than them. Like they are in this very high level, like a manager, like your boss, and you are just a little worker who works for him or her. It's true. Very, very difficult. It's very difficult to achieve the pure equality in a relationship. Even in a society, we're talking about equality between men and women. But we are different. Very obviously, men and women, we are just two different group of people. And don't even mention about in a love relationship. So sometimes there is a blurry line sees what is equal, what is exactly 100% equality in the relationship. Every relationship is different. So you have to find the the balance. But if in the relationship, it's very obvious that you are way little than the other person, then that is the red flag. Okay. There are some behaviors that you can pay attention to. If you find your partner, don't let you talk in public. 
for example, we were hanging out with a bunch of friends. There are few couples. We are hanging out, just talking, having coffee. And someone asks you about like, hey, what's your opinion about this thing, Anita? And my partner just said, no, it's okay. I, I'll answer for her. Or doesn't even say that. You just immediately say what you wanted to say before you, you say something. Let me say that again. Like when we're in public, hanging out with other people, your partner is not allowing you to express your emotions or ex express what you wanted to say. That the red flag, or it could be something more, even more serious. We will say something like, "I am the one who is making money, or who is supporting this family. So I am the decision maker. You don't get to decide what am I going to do with this household. This is a very obvious. Like I am the power holder. I because I provide this family, so I get to decide." Everything for you, for this house, for this family, and you have no right to say whatsoever. That is a very obvious behavior of belittle you. So number three, this is a very common situation I would say in the very traditional family. And again, I need to emphasize which is there are different levels. Some might be very mild that you have to pay more attention to. But some are like very severe, just like the the example I just mentioned. So those three red flags is a indicator. So you can pay attention to those three behaviors, like see if your partner has some of them. But if they have ever happened in your love relationship, does not mean that you are definitely in a toxic relationship, and there's no way to fix it. Everything can be fixed, but it requires two people to put in efforts to work on it. Okay, so here is the conclusion. Before we end the episode today, I will be sharing some method and techniques that you can apply to your love relationship. So, in every love relationship, we wanted to be seen and wanted to be heard. We wanted to be appreciated, and there is no hundred percent equality in the love relationship. But at least we have to find the balance that works for both of us. So those red flags—they are actually just communicate of what they want. So we have to be the one who is establish a healthy communication first. So we have to be the one who is communicate with our feeling, with words, but not with. Comparison, excuses, and judgment. We communicate our feeling with word, but not the other three things. Then we can start to trying to fix the problem. Okay, so today, by the end of this episode, my suggestion would be communicate with what you want and your feeling without judgment, excuses, and comparison. So they will be the episode for today. I hope you found today's episode helpful and educational. If you have any feedbacks, please welcome to leave a message on Taiwanica Instagram or leave us a message on Facebook. I hope you enjoy one your wonderful weekend with your loved ones, and I will be seeing you next time. Bye.